Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be showing you exactly how you can raise your prices on your current clients. Now we know that sounds as awkward as the time where Pete fell into one of our actual clients in a meeting in a public restaurant and took out a whole table in the process. <gasps> True story. But if you want to grow your business, then raising your prices is normal and is necessary. So if you've maybe undersold yourself in the past, or if you have an old client on an old rate, or if you just think, you know what, now is the time to raise my prices, then this video is for you. We've got three things that you need to do in order to successfully raise your prices with current clients. And then we have two bonus tips also that's gonna help you get paid even more. So make sure you stick around for those because those are going to help not just with your current clients but with brand new clients. Let's do this! The first thing you need to do is to set the scene. So let's say you're going to raise your prices in a month's time. You need to make sure that when you ask them they are absolutely loving working with you. And the reason we wanted to mention this because sometimes if you're not charging enough you can find yourself a bit overworked, you can find yourself a bit stressed because you need to do a ton of work in order to make the right amount of money that you need. And if you're overwhelmed and you're stressed with low paying work, then that isn't good for A, you and your sanity and your mental health, but it's also not good for the service level that you're giving to your clients. You don't wanna give your clients any doubt that you're worth your new raised prices. So if your service levels have slipped a little bit recently, then that's a no-go. That's not good. It's not going to help. You don't want to give your clients any doubt that you are worth the new raised prices. So if your service levels have slipped a little bit recently, then that doubt will start to creep back in. Once you've made sure that they are loving working with you, then now comes the ask. This can be done in an email or it can be done in a conversation or over the phone or in a meeting. And actually one of our bonus tips at the end of this video is going to help with the means of doing this too. But in whatever means that you pick, you need to take out the emotion. Raising prices is very normal. In fact, a lot of products and services in the world go up naturally over time. So your tone needs to be very matter of fact and non-negotiable. Not apologetic and negotiable. <laughs> For example, this is bad. Hey John, I'm really sorry, but for, for the work that I did for you last week, I, I just didn't get paid enough for it. And, and I hate to do this to you, but I'm just gonna have to raise the prices from, from, from 500 to, to 600 pounds a, a month. I, I'm really sorry. Uh, I hope that's okay. Um, if, it, if it's not, then just let me know. We, you know. we can talk about it. And rather than that hot mess, <laughs> alternatively try. Hey John, I just wanted to let you know that as of the 1st of January, my rates are going to be going up slightly. My last price increase was over 18 months ago, and so I thought now would be a good time to relook at them. On my new rates, the new monthly fee would be £600 rather than £500. I really enjoy working with you, and I've loved how much we've achieved together so far, and I can't wait to help you with all the things that you've got planned in. Of course, if you have any questions about that, fire them over, or let's chat about it in the next meeting. See how much better that was? It was to the point and it was confident. It didn't make a big deal out of her because it's not a big deal. And it also did our third point, which is to remind them of how far you've come already. Remind them of what you have achieved so far, the value that you've brought them and how much you enjoy working together with them. It reminds them that you are worth the new price and it eliminates any doubt that they have about the new price increase. Obviously, this was a generic example that we used here and it would be much better if you could state some specific achievements or results that you've gotten for your clients. That would work much better. So do you think you can do this? We are about to go into those two bonus tips, but let us know in the comments if you think that you can do this or if you've got any questions. Okay, bonus tip number one is the upsell. People do not do this enough. If you wanna make more money per client, have you ever thought about not just raising the prices, but also upselling and offering them more services? You should be speaking to your clients regularly and asking them questions like, can I support you in any other way? Do you have any projects coming up that you need my help with? You know how we did this thing? Have you ever thought about doing this other thing? Because you know, I can help you with that. With our own team members, we've often started with them on smaller projects and then we've given them more work as we've got to know them, we've got to work with them and as our business has grown. Because the chances are that your clients don't know everything and anything that you can do to help them. 
So you need to tell them and you need to upsell to them if you can help them more. And bonus tip number two is the review. Raising prices on your current clients is much easier if it's not a surprise. So especially if you have retainer-based clients, having in already scheduled a review type meeting would be a really, really good idea. This could be a quarterly meeting, for example, however long makes sense for you. And in it, you can discuss how the project has gone so far. Plus, it also gives you a great excuse to go on and raise your prices, to upsell more services, and you're there to present that to your client, and it seems much more natural. We really hope this has been helpful. We know that this can be an awkward thing to do, so if you're stuck, then please do drop a comment on this video and let us know what you're stuck with, and we'll jump in there and we'll help you out. And while you're down there, why don't you subscribe as well and hit that like button. Oh yes, especially if you like the story, the very true story of how I once fell into a client and took her out and also a table, and it was all very a bit awkward. That was like my favourite ever key moment. It was just so spectacular. Mm -hmm. And the restaurant was not big either, so like literally every restaurant could see. I couldn't drive home. I had to literally pull over because it was unsafe to drive with that amount of tears in my eyes. I mean, all the cutlery. <laughs> Even the candle just just <laughs> fell off the table. The client's, the client's face is just forever etched into my mind as you like rugby tackled them into that table. By accident. <laughs> and on that note, I've been Andrew. I've been Pete, who falls over a lot. See you next Bye. time. <laughs>